this is Jenny. And this is Jared. So we're going to be talking about today. Well, tell me, Jared, what we're going to be talking about today. Um, let's talk a little bit about the um, Israel war in the Gaza Strip. Uh, yes, 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 yes. So what, do you want to go ahead and get started? Why don't you get started? How, how do you feel about uh, what's going on there and what, what could be happening in the Gaza Strip? I feel all over the place in this one because first, uh, well, the Palestinian people doesn't have any fault of what happened in Israel. And uh, I, do, I do want the Palestinian people to be respected. We see a lot of, um, a lot of attacks that happen in Gaza where buildings have um, almost like hanged all to the, to the ground where uh, kids are killed, families have been killed. And they also, uh, they are asked to the, uh, to the civilian population to evacuate Gaza in 24 hours. They asked to them to do that. That's humanly impossible to do. I feel like, uh, yes, it is, it is really hard because so many tunnels on the city that it makes really hard to find um, the terrorists, but also at the same time, it is a lot of people that are just civilians, you know, they just live there because they don't have another choice. You have to also to remember that um, Gaza is like a, the biggest jail in the planet because the people that live there, they don't have no options to get out, okay? The border that they have towards the, I believe towards the south is Egypt, and also they had just Israel in the other side. So they are the, the borders are completely um, completely closed and the security the um, the Israeli people have in these borders is almost like uh, um, impossible to cross, okay? Uh, and also, well, they don't have no way to go. So the Gaza part in the south is not like a really heavily populated area. It's not a lot of places where they can go. It just only had just one big city where it's 2 million people. It is almost like close to impossible to evacuate 2 million people in 24 hours. So, so many people, I see like so many people got interviewed and they say, you know, it's impossible for us to, and, and they don't have no electricity. They don't have no gas. They don't have, remember they, they got cut out a couple of days ago from electricity, gas, all these things, so they don't have no way to move. It's like if they even have a car, it's no way they can just, you know, move out the city because it's no gas. So how can you just, it's just, it's just really hard. So my opinion is all over the place in this one. And I guess, yes, it is um, Hamas is part of the government of, uh, of Gaza, but also at the same time, the people that live in Gaza, it's not any fault of what happens. So yeah, and I, I'm the same way where, I mean, it's just, there's no easy answer. There's no exact way that this can be done. Um, but Israel does have to respond they, and they've got to do everything they can as quickly as possible. Um, I think that, uh, that they are doing an amazing job to try to uh, inform people of, of what's going to be happening and, and, you know, giving them time, um, you know, to, um, to get out. Um, but I, I think that this, this needs to happen, and I think Israel is uh, working hard um, to try to minimize the casualties of civilians, but they realize just the way that Hamas works that, uh, you know, you're not going to get 100%, um, you know, uh, you, you know, well, you're not going to, you're not gonna, yeah, you're going to, there's going to be casualties, and so um, they just got to try to minimize the best that they can because, uh, Hamas is just such an evil organization to, to run things the way that they do. So Hamas, that's how they run things, is uh, they've got things around the civilians. And uh, so I think just avoiding it allows them to win that part of the war. Um, I think that uh, Israel just needs to do as much as they can um, as far as uh, limiting the the civilian casualties, uh, but they need to just go in and uh, and take this organization out. Yes, and that's going to be so hard because uh, the Palestinian population is like 50% really like under 40 years old. And the people that they uh, recruit to these organizations, they're like really, really young people. Okay, so they just, um, something also that have to be a little bit with the religion, it's not completely 
but they just uh, they like they manipulate the religion for people can participate in these things. Okay, uh, it's not like a, a, the Islam side of things. Is they manipulate the religion in a way that they can you know they can um, make these people to follow these terrorist organizations. Yeah, and I, I I know that you know you say that they have 24 hours to get out, but you know this war has already been going for a week and uh you know so there has been time for people to you know for a lot of people to get out because uh, it's clear that they've been you know attacking spots in gaza um and that, that that's where they're going to be um you know taking a, a big majority of this war is is to gaza um so i i i think israel's done you know a, a great job you know trying to limit the casualties and uh you know there's there's a but there's just so much that they can do. But it's also like I told you, it's just, this is the biggest prison on the planet. It's like a jail, okay? It's nowhere to go. And some people, the only place that they can escape is the south of the country, that is just like a, the rural area. It is not so many places to go. Like it, People live in the city and they've been living in the city for like forever. It's two million people. Yes, maybe some people have some family members on the south, but not everybody have family members of the possibilities to move. It's like if we have to, if we have to move right now, they all we have the money to do it. No, everybody will have the money to do it. And remember, they have been for a week without power, without gas. Okay, uh, they don't have they don't have gasoline to put in their cars. So it's just really hard to just tell people to move out of place when you just don't have the ways to move. Do some people have the opportunity to put gas in their cars? Yes, but uh, how long can it last you the, the gas when you just move into uh, to another part of the country where is no gas? Or the rural areas uh, maybe have uh, difficult access to it and we just don't know how much of the gas that people can find on the way there. And so people have some elderly elderly parents or grandpas or grandmas or some people had young kids too because if the population is like 40 years old most of them they're going to have kids they're going to have small kids with them so you just don't have electricity for so long how much food can you carry it's just no it's just not like you just move it's just it's it's so it's some other things that go into it that is no like just yeah you move it's it's some things that make it almost impossible for them to move yeah, and I, I, I wish that, uh, you know, the United States would even do more with the, the neighboring countries to assist, um, you know, in the refugees and, and you know, all the uh, individuals that are going to be displaced. Um, you know, I just wish that we would be, able, you know, focusing a lot of our efforts on, on working with Egypt, talking with Egypt, you know, getting a lot of those things in place, um, you know, to, to try to assist because there is, there's a, a lot of, working parts to this and you know of course it is it's like you say there's so many people and it's such a concentrated area um but then again you know something needs to be done and and you know and i don't fault israel in in doing it the way that they have and i don't see egypt that is the country that is in the south of gaza offering anything they are not helping not. they are not really helping i i guess they just report their security in the borders and people in Gaza, they don't have nowhere to go. It is it is really hard to ask for that. Like That's what they say that it's almost inhumane to ask to them to move because it's just so many people, it's almost impossible, okay? Some people, they, they prefer just to die with dignity. They just be moving from one place to another one where they don't even know where they are going. And it's, it is really hard. And the thing is, is in the, you know, these people, the Hamas, they just keep hiding on the tunnels and they put those tunnels on their hospitals, on their school, where places where they know they don't want to be at um, uh, bomb, or they don't want to get bomb, or they don't want to be attacked. So they just put these, they put these, uh, these tunnels under these places, and so it's really hard to access to it. And if if Jewish people, that that's what they are planning to go, they planning to put troops on the ground. It's really hard because they just if they catch one Jewish, they will do all kinds of bad things to them. It's just it's like a, it's just, it's just hate because the Hamas organization they only they don't they don't even want the land bad because it's also a historic um, part of it. You know, the people from Palestinian they got moved there 
uh, by a treat that was done with England. I think it was in 1965. So uh, Hamas doesn't even want the land back. They just want to kill Jewish. That's, that's their purpose. That's their vision. That's their mission. It's only that, to kill Jewish. And do it in the more uh, hateful and painful way that they can. It's no, they are not fighting for land. They are not fighting for, uh, for. Uh, they are not fighting for anything. This is just fighting for kill Jewish. So when a when an organization has this only one purpose and one vision and one goal, just to kill someone else from another country, from another, um, for another culture. What can you negotiate with them? It's just impossible to negotiate with Hamas. It's not. It's no way. Yeah, and that's why I think that you know Israel's doing. Um you know, they're doing it right by going into the Gaza Strip and destroying um, as much as the Hamas infrastructure as they can. And, you know, yeah, there are going to be civilians and, you know, and, and it's not going to be an easy task to, do, to go in and do it, but but they need to. Um, you know, President Biden, he came out and said that, you know, Israel shouldn't go and occupy the Gaza Strip and, and things like that, where it's like, you know, it's not necessarily, you know, like you say, it's not you know, a war for land, a war for different things. It's just, they've got to go in there and just wipe this evil off the face of the earth. And and this is this is how it needs to be done. And, uh, you know, and the President Biden, he can say whatever he wants, but all countries have the right to defend themselves. And that's what the Israeli people is doing. You know, if you just get attacked, or that country have the, uh, I would just say, the privilege of defend themselves. Uh, almost at all costs, okay? Because if, if what they're gonna do is they get attacked again. So this is a terrorist organization. Their only mission is to kill Jewish. So we are now, uh, it, and it is important to clarify that it's nothing to be with Islam, it's the people that practice Islam. It's nothing to be with people, with Muslim. It's nothing to be with that. It's just, just a terrorist organization. They use the Islam, use the Quran to, put in the mind of people this hate, this hatred, these things that are not um, beneficial not even for them because uh, the, the, um, the Jewish, the, is the Israeli people been just donating um, money to them for they can, you know, build school, build, build hospitals, and they just been pulling this money towards the, towards the building tunnels to attack Israel, to just only to, to attack to attack, they just, they just want to, and Hamas is the government of Gaza, okay? So that part is like a, they are part of the government, and every time this another president or another person tries to is told them that they want to uh, have peace, they want to um, bring, grow the economy for the country, they get killed by, by other members of Hamas, because what they want, their mission, and they are really clear, that is to kill Jewish. So it is impossible to run a country where these circumstances or these things are running constantly on the government. I just don't know how they're gonna do that. I just I just think that I like Israel is just throwing themselves to an almost like impossible mission because it is the Hamas is part of the government of um of Gaza and also um they are they are everywhere. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's the civilian part for uh, for Gaza and the Palestinian people, but also Hamas is part of the government and have control over the population of civilians in Palestine. Yeah, and that's, what, that's what's hardest because there is a lot of the people in the Gaza Strip that, do, that support Hamas, you know, and, and that, uh, you know, Hamas has said to have them, you know, stay where they are and, and go out like martyrs. You know, and that's uh, that's unfortunate. All the every drop of blood that is shed in the Gaza Strip is on the hands of Hamas, um, and and I think that that needs to be clear. Um, but as far as the um, American, and, and other is some people, some people is part of Hamas, and some people that doesn't care enough to fight against them too, because they are a powerful organization. Is the government, so you just cannot. Uh, run your life if you are against the government and come from a country that is a country that has dictatorship and you just cannot live there. You just against the government. It's hard for you to 
to live your life if you are against the government. So it is a it is a tricky situation for the Palestinian people where they have to um, they have to like kind of survive in a country that doesn't have no jobs because fifty percent fifty percent by zero of the population is unemployed. It is no source of income. It's no source of income. It's no like the place that where they can get employed, and the government is run by terrorists. Okay, so if you are no, if you are not aligned with the government, you cannot have a line a life in that country either. So it is. Uh, I don't know how they're gonna pull this one up. It's it's gonna be really hard for them to do that. Yeah, and I the the thing is is with with the American government with. President Biden, you know, I, uh, I, I'm still just a little bit disappointed because I think that we should just, you know, America should just be coming out and saying, you know, this is evil, this is what it is, um, you know, where they focus a lot on, you know, kind of trying to micromanage how the war should work, where, you know, with President Biden, you know, all you have to do is look at, you know, how he pulled out of Afghanistan. He shouldn't be micromanaging how wars are going and i'll just leave it at that um and then also um you know that they they keep uh almost defending iran saying well there's there's you know no connection there's you know we we haven't seen this that or the other where it's like you know there's something there and so so the thing is is that instead of defending it saying it needs to be you know just straight as an arrow to show exactly what happened. It's like, no, the thing is, uh, America should be handling all of this in this entire region much better than they are. Um, and I think that, um, you know, President Biden, you know, and his administration have been failing, you know, well, to do that. Well, this is a situation that also, diplomacy plays a really big role because we definitely, uh, Israel is our, is our ally we want to defend israel but we also want to be in the side of the of the palestinian people and make sure there is no crimes um for part of israel uh, being committed to people to the palestinian people so it is it is a hard situation to navigate too okay because i i understand president biden president biden doesn't want to get in any any situation that implicates to put our troops on the ground in any other country. I think that's that's been his policy, and it has been his policy for like for like all this time. He just doesn't really want to get involved in any situation where we have to put troops on the ground. He wants he really wants to give the money and facilitate the uh, the resources for these countries to defend themselves, which is gonna go in the Ukrainian uh, thing. They, they want to, but they he he doesn't want to put um, the, uh, the, um, the, the troops in risk. He did facilitate some uh, intelligent people for, from this country. I don't, I don't remember how, much, how many it was, it like 5,000 people from in, intelligence uh, to go to Israel and help the Israeli uh, to, manage the, to manage the conflict. But as it is right now, I don't think that he's just gonna put any more people to go to Israel to, to deal with that. And the one thing I think that is a lot different in this situation is that there's still 15 Americans that are unaccounted for. Um, you know, it's presumed that they're with uh, the hostages that have been taken. And, and that's the thing is for me, that's 15 Americans. And so the thing is, is that we need to be clear on what, what's don't, going to happen? We don't really know what, where they are. We don't even know if they've been just keep host, um, if they are kidnapped by this, by Hamas. We don't really know, okay? We don't really know where these people is. They maybe are sleeping in their house. We don't know. They are, they are an account for it, but we just don't know exactly what happened to them. So we cannot really tell, you know, they are with Hamas when we don't really know. But I just think that we if, there's, if sure. there's any chance, if there's a better chance that they were taken hostage than sleeping well, in their home, the thing is, is that America, I, I think that that takes it to a different level to where it's like, well, we've got we've got the resources, we've got the special forces to go in and take care of situations like yes, that. Yes, of course, but they don't have, it's not like they've been confirmed. It's not like they even can confirm that they was in that concert at that time 
or they was in a in a place that it was a dangerous situation you know it's not it's not none of them those 15 people have been confirmed that they are with hamas or they've been kidnapped by hamas so if if it's not confirmed you cannot really put you know to say you know they are not they are in, in the hands of hamas you just don't even have one that it's been confirmed yeah and i and I, i would assume that our government probably has a lot more information than than we're being made aware of through the media. And so I, I just think that um, we should be doing more. And, and because of the fact that there's 15 Americans that are out there, you know, wherever they actually are or their circumstances, but it's like, but it, it, it should be important um, under all the circumstances that, yes, that of something course, be done. Of course. So what do you think about this? That we nail all the points or it, it's some points that we just needed to talk about it that we just didn't talk about it? Just comment in the comments below and let us know what are we missing or what is your point of view that all these things that we just talked about a few minutes ago. Okay, so what do you want to say, Jared? Um, I just, uh, you know, there are some things that I've, I've liked about the Biden administration, that, you know, that came out and said we stand with Israel. And things like that i just i just think that as far as it comes you know with with hamas with terrorism with with you know people wanting to kill you know the jews and then also that they're they're fine uh wiping out america also that i, I think we just need to to um just be a little bit more strong worded and and straightforward on on how we feel and and what we're not going to tolerate as a nation well i just think that it's always two sides of the situation okay this is a conflict that been going on for years okay so, and uh, and i think america need to be uh or government need to be really diplomatic about it because it's a lot of things that goes into this conflict that is just not you know the israeli side of the of, of the conflict or the palestinian side of the country yes we know the hamas is a terrorist organization that they don't have they don't have even claim like i just already told you they just don't claim land they don't claim anything they just only want to claim the la the life of jewish you know and we of course we need to like oppose to this kind of terrorist organizations but at the same time we also need to preserve the civilians and the life of but uh, palestinian people very good okay well very this good. is all for all today you guys just make sure that you comment give it a like if you like this video give it a like comment and subscribe it really helps our channel to go to grow and it helps other people to find our content and our video thank you